Hi everyone, this is Brad. We're in a Google Meet, so it's myself as the teacher, and then I have a student, it's just a Chromebook to my uh, side over here, and then my wife is in another room as a support teacher. So what we would do here is the support teacher would already have a Google Meet set up, and the student would have already joined this as well. Now, what the teacher can do is go ahead and just start a meeting. They can just name it by the student's name. So in this example, we just said student. Um, the student, though, would need to go ahead, and I recommend if you're going to use this, go ahead down, you know, bookmark this, control shift D. We could go ahead and select the star or drag this down and name it meet. And then what they would do is just simply type in, I would say their name, but whatever it is you want to set up, and then they would join that specific meeting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, so again, we're in Zoom and the student's going to go ahead. I'm going to show you what it looks like on a Chromebook to join in Meet. So here we go. Okay, so here I am as a student. My daughter's doing the videoing here in the back. Uh, the student could go ahead and mute right down there in the bottom left. And then if they like to join the specific Google Meet, they could select Google at the bottom and then go ahead and select the bookmark, which is Meet, and then type in the meeting code. And the meeting code Again, in this example, a student, and we'll select continue. <laughs> okay, so there we have my wife in here right now. Um, we can talk back and forth. There's um, the ability to also uh, chat in here as well. So I wanted to point that out. That is one way you could go back and forth and have uh, the teacher's aide be able to assist um, through Google Meet. So there you go. If you do have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.